Clicking, texting, crowdfunding technology is changing the way Americans give back. With the holidays quickly approaching now is a busy time of year for donating to charities. So we've got an expert here, Stacy, uh, our, our financial professional, Stacy Turner from Turner Advanced Financial with all you need to know about new ways to give as we are now in the holiday season. So let's talk about that, what we need to keep in mind as far as uh, security, dealing with you know scammers, actually avoiding scammers, and also some of the tax deduction benefits. Sure. Well, the first thing I always tell people with this stuff is that it's great that you're giving. Of course, that's a great way just to, to, give, to give back, mm -hmm. um, but you just have to make sure you do your homework first. That's number one. Right. Yeah. Um, as far as new ways to give, which is what we're sort of focusing on today just for fun, is, is because technology is, is offering you know, us opportunities that we didn't have in the past. And right. so we're looking at um, online giving increasing dramatically. And so with online giving, the first thing you want to do before you, before you give online is just to make sure the legitimacy of who you're giving your money to, of course. And so with that, you can, number one, I would stay away from anyone who has no physical address. Maybe, you know, that seems obvious when someone points it out, but if they have a flashy website, you could mm -hmm. get, get trapped there. Um, so there's also on my website, turneraf.com, you can, there's a couple links I provided for our viewers just so that they can click on those and that will give them the legitimacy of the charity mm -hmm. as well as show where the money's going. So that's, that's really useful. What about for mobile donations? It's pretty easy to text donations now to the Red Cross. Exactly. And mm -hmm, that's right. Yeah, that's, that's really popular. Texting is also fairly secure. It's very convenient, and you can text $5, $10 donations, and that'll show up on your mobile bill. And so maybe that's an easy way for you to give back. But according to the Pew Research Center, people don't do their research on the charities because it's only five dollars and so maybe you know you may maybe assume your mobile device carrier has already done the homework but don't make that assumption make sure you do a little bit of homework just by clicking on the link and then as far as taxes go that's pretty easy because then you just print off your bill and it's got the name of the organization it's got the date and the amount that you gave mm, okay so that's nice and what about for crowdfunding you know we've got kickstarter uh go fund me that's another way to give as well that's right um there are some some great advantages there for especially for charities as a way to reach a lot of people and and possibly help a lot of people in the world so so I'm, I'm very much for it however you have to be careful on on the tax side of that because number one they do charge a fee so four to eight percent of your money may be going to the crowd funding company and then number two is that crowd funding company tax exempt mm -hmm. if they're not then it gets a little bit complicated and on that I suggest you talk to a tax professional. And is it easy to know if they're tax exempt on Kickstarter or these crowdfunding Not websites? Not so much. It is on the online and on the text companies. It's pretty easy just to verify, but when you add another layer in, so now you've got this crowdfunding company, maybe they're not tax exempt, but the company that they're ultimately giving the money to is, and so then it gets a little complicated. So do you think the better thing to do is almost just to give to them directly after I finding out if they're not nonprofits? I think so. My, my personal you know, choice on that would be to, to go, if I were doing technological gift would be online and then the texting seems pretty pretty good the funding might be a little bit more complicated yeah and what if you want to help out but funds are maybe a little tighter especially during the holidays what can people do well that's a great question I mean everybody has something to give um, sounds a little cliche but it's it's true I mean we all do and if you just give your time then that's one of the best things you can give. It's extremely rewarding. And then from a tax perspective, you can't deduct your time, but you can deduct any direct expenses. Like so gas, tra or exactly. travel expenses. Exactly. Travel expenses, et cetera. Um, my clients and I personally try to take it to a, a, the next level, which is to involve the whole family. So the whole family, we go down and we do various things, maybe feed the homeless. And um, I can tell you that it's often more I feel like we get more out of it sometimes than, than the people we're helping. So it's extremely rewarding and I do recommend it. And what do you think is the best way to, when it comes to the tax deductions, how to kind of keep track of all those expenses? Yeah, there's, um, 
There are ways that you can do it that are, are very simple, like just keep it in a Word document or Excel um, if that's your thing. But um, for, for me personally, I, I don't even do that. I just put in the top of my email, I'll put tax deduction mm. and email it to myself. And okay. then at the end of the year, just sort by tax deductions and then print them out. That's a good tip. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Stacy Turner. Thank you. We're back with more coming up after the break.